Hi everyone, welcome to the party. Uh, thank you all for coming. I'm Michaela. I am the one who's been talking to you throughout the week um, and I'm really excited to be making this video for you. Uh, thank you all for your participation throughout the week. Commenting on those posts has really helped me make sure that this video is good for you and your little readers. Um, I am watching along with you. So if at any point during this video you have any questions or you want more information on something I've shown or you want titles that are similar to what I've shown, just go ahead and ask me and I will comment and answer you right away. Um, a little bit about me and Usborn. Um, I am actually a newbie like many of you. I knew pretty much right away, um, not that long ago actually, that I wanted to be a part of Usborn. I really truly believe that these are some of the best books on the market for kids of any age. Um, there are so many nonfiction titles, so many activity books, so many fiction books. Um, they're engaging and they're interactive and they're educational and I really love them and I knew I had to have them as part of my baby's life and also that I wanted to help bring them to other people's lives. Books are a big passion of mine and I have a feeling that you guys love them as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk you through some of the books that I have. Um, we would be here for hours if I took you through all the books that I do have. And if I had all the books that I want, we would be here for days. <laughs> My wish list is always growing. So I highly recommend the Travel Little Pen and Paper and write down some of the titles as you see them or any questions. Um, I just want to make sure that this party is great for you. Um, so without any further ado, I'm just going to start walking you through them. I am going to try and talk fast so I don't keep you here for an hour. Um, so yeah, comment if you have any questions. We're going to start with babies. Um, I love this book. This is a fold-out book. Usborne has a couple of these. There is uh, Animals Farm, things that go in nursery rhymes, I believe. I chose colors because I think that's really great for um, visual development. And why I bought this book is because I think it's great for tummy time. And I know you, I have a few guests there who are in tummy time phase. Um, it's awesome because it folds out. Um, every color has the color yellow and then it has a couple of things that are yellow and it's not just like one shade of yellow it's different shades which I think is really unique um, and on the other side all the other colors fold out why I love this book so much and why I think it's good for tummy time is because you can set it down like this while baby's on the floor you can also stand it up so it's gonna pull on the baby's um, neck muscles as they're trying to look and as they start to kind of wriggle around they can kind of crawl towards the colors that draw them just really, really love these books. Highly recommend the fold-out books for anyone with a little, little babies. Um, it's also going to be good for you to read to them as they get older. Okay. Are You There, Little Elephant? This is a really unique little book because it has all these finger trails for, like, developing babies. As they kind of start to feel and touch things and experience things, um, their little fingers just follow these little trails. This book is about just trying to find Little Elephant. And every page has like a spot where you think you found the elephant and then you turn the page and it's not the elephant. And you go through the whole book trying to find him. And at the very end, you find Elephant cuddled up with his elephant dad. Um, but the whole time, it's just like this really sweet story with them having something to engage their fingers. Um, and we know little babies are always touching. Um, so I think that's a really good way to keep them engaged in these books. There is Are You There Little Bunny coming out soon. I believe they're going to release a Christmas title soon. But right now you can get Are You There Little Elephant and Are You There Little Fox. I um, highly recommend you put some of these on your wish list. Okay. Baby's very first noisy book. Um, I think these are just so sweet. They're not really storybooks, but they are really fun and engaging. So for every page, there's a little button. And let's see, which one do we want to do? Let's do the seal. Go to the seal page and you push the seal button. And it's really just really fun for, you know, the baby who's sitting up and wants to kind of push buttons and play with things themselves. It's a really sturdy book. All of our books are really sturdy, well-made books. So um, great for that. They have Nursery Rhymes, Jungle Train, and Farm, I believe. Um, so there's a book for any child, any interest. And it just has all these buttons and all these noises for them to learn and maybe mimic. Okay. Now, I know I recommended these books to a few of you. This is a box set of them, and it's the That's Not My series. Um, I, I wouldn't even call it a series. They're standalone books, but there are probably 20 or more titles that go in this That's Not My type of book. And they're really great for babies, and they're really great for older kids as well. And I'm just going to show you a few. This box set, um, I believe, cost me 40 
and it came with five books so it's basically like getting a book for free um, highly recommend it if you're going to do that um, let's see here this is my favorite one I'll show you this one um, these are like sensory books so they're touch and feel books so every book has this little mouse who's trying to find his lion or his doll or his cow or his dragon or unicorn. I mean, there really is, there are so many options for these books, so have fun looking through those. But what it is, is every page, you follow the mouse and he says, that's not my lion, its ears are too soft, and there's like this texture here. That's not my lion, his paws are too rough, and it's like this scratchy texture here. Um, and at the very end, he says, that's my lion, his mane is so shaggy, and you touch it there. Um, it's really great for babies just to feel, get some texture experience, but also as the kid gets older, um, they can read it to you, and they can also have fun kind of finding the mouse on every page. Because he's not, he's there, he's not like super hard to find, but he is kind of hiding on every page. So it's just a really fun book. Highly recommend these. We have so many options. Um, can't say enough about them, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, baby's first slide and see nighttime. Um, definitely good for babies who are getting a little bit more dexterity in their fingers, and what they are are their slide books. They're not really story books, there's not a lot of text. But as you go through, it just has all these little flaps in there for them to play with and kind of experience. Um, we have a couple of these as well. There's animals, dinosaurs, farm, um, under the sea, zoo. There's a couple of them. Um, and you can just kind of go through and pull the flaps. Okay, now this set was really unique. I ordered the set because I couldn't pick one um, because I thought the titles were so cute. This is a set of four things that kind of go through, like four basic things that you have to do throughout the day. Um, bathing, brushing your teeth, feeding, and sleeping. Um, they do come together in a set. It was $30 for the set. I think they're $9 each, so you save a little bit of money. Um, they're really cute books for you to read to your child, but they're also really fun for them as well to read as they get older. Um, and why I love these books is because the main character who's putting the lion to sleep or feeding the monkey or brushing the crocodile's teeth is the child, not the parent. So the child is putting their little lion to sleep. And you just go through and the lion doesn't want to go to sleep, wants to play, and doesn't want to get in pajamas, and you sing him lullabies and all this stuff, and then you finally get the lion to sleep, and he's peacefully snoring. Um, it's very cute. I highly recommend these. They're sturdy board books, so um, one year old, older, you can. I have them now. I'm going to read them to my baby, and it's not even here yet. So, um, yeah, really, really recommend these. The set is really cool, and they go together. So it's like the lion is like after you've brushed your teeth and after you've had your food um, and taken a bath. So it's, it, that's really cute. Okay. Now, I know I recommended this to at least one of you guys. I love this story. Um, because it's about getting dressed and it's really great for kids who are getting to the point where they want to pick their own clothes or they just want to have a little bit more independence and get dressed by themselves um, and it's all about getting dressed when daddy or mommy says so. Um, so it's Max and Millie and their friends and they like to play dress up so they get dressed in all these clothes. Um, he was a builder and then she's a fairy and then he can fly and then Millie's daddy says okay it's time to get dressed we need to go. And they say, no, they don't want to get dressed. And he goes through this thing, like, well, I'll help you then. And they say, no, we can do it by ourselves. And um, they look at the weather, and they pick out warm clothes based on what the weather is. And then they go through getting dressed, and Millie's daddy counts to 10. And by the time that it reaches 10, they're all dressed. And he says, great, we did it. It's time to go. But they say, wait, we're not ready yet. And they go back, and they put their cape and their wings on, and then they're really ready to go. So I think it's just this really cute kind of imaginative story about kids getting dressed all on their own and making sure that they know you know what to dress for the weather and how to still be themselves and it says right there can you get dressed too so really cute book really simple book good for you to read to them good for them to kind of learn through okay this is a really unique book um I wasn't really sure what I was getting I just thought it was cute because it's farmyard tales and um my husband and I don't know what we're having so I've just as you can see animal theme everything um so I just bought this because I thought it was sweet, but it's actually like a really cool book, and I'll show you why. Um, it comes with a CD, um, and on the CD it will basically read, there's 20 stories in the book, and it will go through each of the stories 
um, for you. If you're like in the car and um, your kid wants to hold a book or just wants to listen along, um, it will read all the stories and it has like little animal sound effects and has um, some music and stuff like that. So it's just like this really like cute audio book for kids. But what's even more unique is that it's good for early readers and late readers. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but let me show you how. Um, so this is Pig Gets Stuck. It's the first of 20 stories. All of these stories take place on Apple Tree Farm. Um, so for the early readers, what you would do is just go through and read the top text. Um, and just the top text alone makes its own story. It's really simple. This is Apple Tree Farm. And on the farm there are six pigs. It's time for breakfast. Curly is hungry. When they're older, or if you're reading it to them, you can also make it a more detailed story by adding in the bottom text. So this is Apple Tree Farm. This is Mrs. Boot, the farmer. She has two children called Poppy and Sam, and a dog called Rusty. On the farm, there are six pigs. The pigs live in a pen with a little house. The smallest pig is called Curly. So it's really, really cute. If they're just learning how to read, just focus on the top. If they're getting a little more advanced, or you want to read it with them, or they're reading along with the CD, add in the bottom, and it just becomes this much more detailed and interactive story and there are so many stories in here they will learn to love apple tree farm and um, i'm sure this book would become a favorite for many many years okay on to another one that's really good for helping to read um, like i said esborns really focus on literacy um, they want to encourage children to read they also want to encourage you to help them read um, and we have a lot of a lot of books for this we have these are the early ones we also have other early readers that come in box sets or individually if you want more information on that, I will be more than happy to share a link with you. Um, the box set is a really good value. It's like $70 for like 15 books or something crazy like that. But these are the early ones. Um, and I ordered these because they are amazing value. This was $15. It's a nice thick book. And it has six of the phonics reader stories in it. And you can order them individually, of course, if you just want to check one out. Um, but I really recommend these. There are three of the thicker ones. This is Cow Tigs About and Other Tales. There's Llamas in Pajamas and Other Tales and Giraffe Takes a Bath and Other Tales. I love all the titles. It's kind of why I ordered them. <laughs> they kind of hooked me. Um, what's really fun is that you go through. In the first part, these are all the stories in this. So I'll show you. So this is Cow Takes a Bow, Snail Brings the Mail, Bee Makes Tea, Underpants for Ants, um, Croc Gets a Shock, and Crow in the Snow. At the very end, there are also puzzles and answers to puzzles. So, I mean, Esmore doesn't do anything simply everything has like this little bonus in it um, but what's really cool is this first part of the books is going to be about phonics and this is just telling you what sounds each story is focusing on and what they're trying to teach kids in each story and how you can encourage that and help that and I just think that's that's really unique um, it's not just for the kids it's for you as well so yeah they're really simple cute like rhymy little stories cow takes a bow is about a little cow that wants to go to the circus but the circus ends up being full and but they need, a, they need a clown. The clown didn't show up for work that day. So he goes through this like little tiny trial about how he doesn't think he's doing a very good job at being a clown. Um, he keeps dropping stuff and he's just not, you know, doesn't think he's doing a good job. And he gets really upset because he doesn't think anybody likes him as a clown. And he gets all mad. And then at the very end, They come back and he hears the, the crowd cheering and he realizes that he did such a good job as a clown and he takes a bow. So um, they're all really cute. Um, they're all animal themed. Like I said, can't recommend this enough. 15 for six stories. Okay, this is one of my favorite books and I have to show it to you. Um, my husband actually picked this because we have cats and... Um, They've kind of been our babies up until this point. Um, but I just think it's really cute. There's also Dogs, Dogs. Um, even this book, which is like, you know, a thin, one of our more inexpensive picture books, um, has a unique little surprise at the end. <laughs> so you just go through and it kind of talks about cats and they're everywhere and each page is a different cat. It's Nosy Cat. Um, angry Cat. So it's Angry Cat, Angry Cat, why are you so mad? You're swishing your tail. What is so bad? And you just go through and there's all these cats and at the very end... It says, little girl, little boy reading this book, which cat are you like? Take a look. And they see their face in the little cat head. And I just think it's so cute. It's a very fun, little, easy book. I'm definitely going to keep this for a bedtime. Um, my husband's reading it to my belly, so I'm sure my baby already loves this book. <laughs> um, okay, now some of the picture books we have. These are three of our, well, two really popular books and one of my, like, all-time favorite books. This is my favorite book so far. Um... I say that 
tentatively because I change my favorites all the time. There are so many books, but um, I love Cuddle Bear. Um, there are, is the, the starter Cuddle Bear book, which is just Cuddle Bear, and you can buy the option, which is Cuddle Bear, and it comes with the plush. So you can read the Cuddle Bear book with Cuddle Bear, like a little reading pal, um, which I think is very sweet. But I bought this one because I thought it was so adorable, and I cannot wait to read this to my baby. Um, it's all about Cuddle Bear who loves giving cuddles and hugs, but he know that he knows that um, you know one bear can't hug everyone in the world. He can't take care of all the cuddles that are needed. So he starts Hug Academy and he teaches all these other bears how to give cuddles. There's cuddle class and they turn learn how to squeeze right, not too hard, not too soft, um, how to hug whales and how to hug octopus and how to hug porcupines so that nobody gets left out. And at the very end, um, says, so if you want to spread some love and show friends that you care, give someone a cuddle now as hugs are made to share. I think this is so sweet. It's such a, like, a sing-songy little book. Um, I think this is cute to read to your children, for your children to read to you, or if you have siblings, for an older sibling to read to younger siblings. I can't say enough about Cuddle Bear. Adore this book. Okay, now these are, I have to show you because they are really, really unique and one of our, some of our most popular titles. Um, this is one of the first books that I found out about in Usborne, and it's really fun. Um, it's all better, and it's a book about taking care of little owies. Um, what's fun about it is that it has these reusable stickers. So these come off, and they stick back on. No problem. Um, and as you go through, let's see, let's find, here's the elephant. And I can see I already bandaged them, so I'll take this off and show you. Um, basically what you do is you clean the boo-boo, and you kiss it, and then you put the band-aid on it. And that makes it all better. Um, and at the very end, it kind of just, you go through each animal. There's five animals, five band-aids, so there's a band-aid for every animal in the book. Um, and then at the very end, it just says, so clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it, it makes it all better. I think this just makes, like the idea of hurting not so scary um, they know how to take care of it and when you're done you just put them back on they don't fall off they're really really cool little stickers um, there's this one and then there's also uh, little bear needs glasses which is the same principle it has the same kind of stickers but you're trying to help the bear find the right pair of or yeah the bear find the right pair of glasses for him um, really really fun interactive book um, can't say enough about this it's too cute okay now I have to show you this book because I'm pretty sure I would like fail as a consultant if I didn't show you because Nibbles is awesome. Nibbles is the best book I think like by far like one of the most favorite books Usborn has um, because Nibbles is a very cute book eating monster. Um, I was really impressed with this book when I got it not just because of like the flaps and things that are here because the the quality of the publishing is amazing. Um, it's one of the most uniquely Put together books that I've ever seen. Um, so it's just Nibbles. He likes to eat books and he kind of escapes from his cage in the beginning and he starts eating through books and you can see he eats through the pages in the books. And what's fun is when you get through it, this is the part that got me. There are little books in the book. So he's eating through Goldilocks and the Three Bears in his own book, which is just so fun. And he eats through Goldilocks then he eats through Little Red Riding Hood, and, you know, she gets upset because she, you know, doesn't get to finish her story. Um, and it kind of, like, tailors the books. Like, the books change as Nibble goes through them, which is really fun. Um, Jack and the Beanstalk, he steals the Golden Goose. Um, and at the very end, you catch Nibbles, of course, and you put him back in his cage. You close the cage on him. He's trapped, but it says, don't take your eyes off Nibbles now. And you hear something, and at the very back... You open the cage, and he's eating through the book. <laughs> I adore this. I have never seen really anything like this. Um, Nibbles is fun, definitely fun for so many ages of kids. Um, and you can also get the Nibbles plush. So if you want to read this with Nibbles beside you, you can do that. Um, Nibbles, have to get it. Okay. Now I'm going to take you through a couple of nonfiction books. I promise I'm trying to finish up here. Um... This is our Peek Inside series. So flat books are a really big thing for Usborne. Nonfiction books is a really big part of the Usborne Books and More um, company. Um, 
these are the peak inside so that's for like three and older and then there's look inside which is for five and older and then see inside which is for around seven and older um, and basically they're just nonfiction books they are tailored to the age group that's reading them and you go through and you open these flaps and they have little information this one's about lions um, there's a lot of these the the I got this in a six book box set and it came with zoo animals Animal Homes, Nighttime, Dinosaurs, Garden, and The Farm. And I saved 20 bucks by ordering it in the six book box set. And they're fun. You just go through and there's little flaps that like tell you what the animals are doing. This is for the really young age. So the like the facts that they're getting is really simple. It's just about, you know, penguins swim really fast and um, lions eat and stuff like that. It's really simple. But as you get older, the flaps get more developed and they have more information. That's still fun because like, the older they get, the more flaps are in the book, the more they can discover on each page. So highly recommend checking out the flap books. Peek Inside is great for little ones. Look Inside is the next step, and then See Inside. Highly, highly, highly recommend these. Okay, this is another nonfiction book. Um, I'm a big foodie, so I chose this one, but there's also Nature, How Things Grow. Um, there's the About Me book, which is all about like your body and like living in the world and different types of people in the world, and there's just so many of these. These are not a flat book, they're just a nonfiction book. But what's fun about them is that they're again tailored to the age that's reading them. So they're factual, informational. You can be assured that they're well researched and they're not, you know, giving your kids inaccurate information. They're really fun. Um, but they're bright and bold and beautiful. And it's not just about like this is about vegetables, but it also goes through milk and dairy and it talks about, you know, how to break an egg and what eggs you like and um, what is pasta and how is it made and how do we get rice, um, different types of markets and how to make meals. I mean, it's just, they go through so much. There's so much detail without it being too detailed. Um, there's games in the back for the kids to play. There's a shopping puzzle and a glossary. I recommend checking out the nonfiction books. Like I said, there's something for every age. I don't have them all. I wish I did. I will eventually someday. I'm pretty determined. But um, like whatever your kid's interest is, age, there is, there's books on food. There's books on nature. There's books on science, space, dinosaurs, uh, trucks, tractors. I mean, there are nonfiction books for any interest, any age from ages. This is for like, I think, four years. And you can go all the way up to like 14, 15, older. Um, awesome selection of nonfiction books. I know you guys have seen this in the video. If you did not check out that video, I highly recommend you go check out the books that got me hooked post. So it was a couple days ago. Um, it shows you our Shine a Light series, which is another really, really unique type of book. And basically what they are is a nonfiction book that you go through and it shows you when you shine a flashlight on them, it asks you questions. As you shine a flashlight on them, it shows you through the page what's on the back. So it says, okay, um, all animals and plants need water to live. Most of Earth's water is on the salty oceans. Which animal live behind, lives below the waves? And you shine a light, and it would show you what animals live under the waves. So these are really unique and fun. I highly recommend getting a shine a light book. Um, again, they have, I don't even know how many. Um, I have two. I have this one, and I have the USA one, but I'm getting the dinosaurs one, I'm pretty sure. Um, the big body book. Um, it's not the big body book. The body book, the shine a light one. Um, yeah, just they're really, really fun. Kids really love playing with them. Um, not just young kids, older kids as well. Um, okay. I want to show you a couple of activity books. Uh, we have a lot of these. Like I said, there's some for any hobby. Um, this is our Paper Planes book. And what's fun about it is this can really keep a kid occupied for a while. I know Corinza's son has the Paper Dragons version of this. They also have like bugs and spaceships and they have like three Paper Plane books. Um, but it shows you all these different things for how to fold a paper plane. And then as you go through, it shows you, you know, okay, so for the red diamond, you would follow the red pattern for folding. And they get all of these really fun paper planes that actually fly. And they look really awesome, and they all rip out super easy. Um, this is good for, like, any age. Um, Gary is 12, and he loved it. I think um, my, my other nephew... Um, is six and he got a different paper plane one and with a little bit of help he folds them up and he just loves throwing them around so all of these activity books are really great um, they have the ones that are like that like are interactive folding up pop-up dolls sticker books 
Then they also have more of these like writing books. I love the Neverboard book. I read through this whole thing when I first got it and um, I'm not even a kid so <laughs> I highly recommend this one for any age boy or girl honestly. Um, if there's a book you're gonna get, get this book. Um, it is literally a, bo a book that will never have them being bored. Um, you go through and there's activities on every page. This is Make Music um, and it kind of shows you some activities. You can make a glass xylophone or bottle maracas. Um, when your kid's older, they can definitely go through this book on their own, but I think with parent supervision, you could easily make maracas with like three or four year old. Um, but also I think that older kids, you know, 10 and older would get a kick out of this book because there are pages like this, which is how to write your own story. And it just kind of walks you through and it gives you these little questions like, you know, what, this is a haunted house version. So like, what are the, what are the people in the creepy portraits doing? Um, can you hear noises from upstairs? And it kind of prompts them to write their story all the way through the house. So this book is just full of activities. I, there are so many pages in here. I honestly feel like they would never get bored. Okay. The Academy book. I promise I'm almost done. There is a whole bunch of Academy books and this is an activity, but also an educational book. Um, they have the architect, entrepreneur, um, scientist, vet, an engineer, I believe. I might be missing one, but I think that's all of them. Um, I love the chef one. I'm a big cook, so I can't wait. You know, I have all these books. My baby is going to have activity books way past their age, um, so I'm going to save them all. But this is really fun. It's basically goes through teaching them how to be a chef, um, and I'm sure the other Academy books are similar, like how to be an entrepreneur, how to, how to be a scientist. Um, but it's not just like how to cook, and here's some recipes. It's you know, food groups, um, following a recipe, food sanitation, food hygiene, how to properly store it, how to be a good leader, um, how to menu plan. And as you go through um, like this, it teaches them, this is a taste page, it's just all about taste buds and why they work and how they work. And it has a little game for them to play about like trying to identify foods with their eyes shut. Um, and describing them so they learn more about the food and at the end of each activity there's this little spot where you put a sticker and when they get all the stickers at the very end they get their head chef certificate and they have become a chef and it's just really fun at the back there are all these games um, there's like this big poster that folds out and it talks about foods around the world and like this kind of tells you about different cultural foods so they can learn about that too. It's really educational, but it's so fun. Um, I can't wait to go through this with my kid. I honestly highly recommend the Academy series for anyone who's looking for an activity book. Okay, last book. I wish I had more of the chapter books and series books for older children because we do have a ton of series books for older kids. Um, this is a graphic novel series and I know um, a lot of kids, I know Gary, uh, Rochelle Sonnigan loves graphic novels, but this is actually really fun because it's classic novels and they don't even know. So there's The Odyssey, there's King Arthur, there's um, Sherlock Holmes, and there's Robin Hood. And it's actually like the real Robin Hood story. It gives you like a little bit of the history, but it's fun and it's like easy to read and digest. And I think that exposing kids to literature in like this type of format first um, will really help them kind of take on the actual Odyssey and the actual King Arthur legends as they get to the ages where they're reading those in school without maybe it seeming so boring. They'll already know the story um, and be more interested in it. And like I said, there are so many fiction series. Just ask me if I haven't already recommended you some for your kids, I would be more than happy to make those. Um, that's all the books I have for today. But um, thank you guys for coming and thank you for watching this video. And I do wanna tell you really quickly about a few customer specials. Um, every $40 that you spend tonight or tomorrow um, will earn you a opportunity at a really discounted deal. Um, so there are these, there's five customer specials. You'll see the little graphic, a little pop-up on post number seven, so keep your eye out for it. Every $40 you spend, you qualify for one of those. Um, really recommend checking that out. It's a really great opportunity to get some products at a cheaper price. Um, also, I really recommend adding a catalog. You can do that to any order. I could have recommended books to you guys for hours, but um, I think having a catalog in your home is a really great way to kind of look for new books, birthdays, whatever's coming up. Um, and like I said, like if you have any questions, I'm here for you. 
Um, I hope you guys, you know, enjoy the rest of the party. There will be some more posts. Make sure you keep commenting to win those prizes. I'll be announcing those tomorrow. Um, and thank you guys all for coming again. And I hope you had fun. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.